Hello, this is Dr. Priscilla, the founder of Speak Excellent English. I hope most of you will be able to watch this video. I don't have anyone joining me at this moment, but that's perfectly fine. This will be a five minute video just to talk about some things that we have on the Facebook page and the Facebook group for Speak Excellent English. Now, I'm going to go to the area that I asked you to post and I'll read from some of the students. Let's take a listen. One moment. All right, I'm going to share my screen now. We're looking at the Speak Excellent English Facebook group here, and a few of you have responded to my post of July 6th, where I ask you to post information about what would be most beneficial to you. One of the things I did point out is that I'd like to hear more than I want to learn English. Most of us that are here, that is your goal, is to learn English or to become more proficient in speaking. An example of what I would like for you to write is, for example, my name is blah blah and I am from blah blah. I want to learn how to use idioms I like idioms because many English speakers use them. Or you could say, my name is blah blah. I live near Saudi Arabia. I want to study for my IELTS or TOEFL speaking exam. And I will have my test in six months. Let's take a look and see what some of you have actually written. All right, here is one that says, my name is Han, I'm from Vietnam. I want to improve my speaking English and how to use idioms, please help me. So this person would like to be able to use idioms. There are many links online that you can locate an idiom. What I'd like for you to do is to comment on a particular idiom and we can explore that idiom in another session. So thanks for your post. This was my post for today, I think, or for a particular, no, this was for July 25th that I was in Zoom. And where are some more posts? Maybe they are going to be here. This is from Zena. Zena says that she's from Kurdistan. My English isn't very well. I want to improve my language through reading those words, idioms and sentences which are posted here. I would like to recommend, Zena, that you practice with the activities that are listed. For example, there is one that asks you to talk about a picture that is posted. Let's see, where is it? This picture. You could look at these two pictures and write a comparison, and I will give feedback. So that way, if you are interested in an idiom, I would try to use an idiom. If you mention something like that, here is Mushvig. Hi, my name is Mushvig. I am from Azerbaijan. I am 24. I go to the course for English language. My teacher says that I can speak in English. I just need practice. That's great, and I'm happy to know that you are taking sessions outside of the Facebook group. Listening to the video uh, that I create, joining my channel, all of these will be very beneficial to you. And I hope that one day you'll be able to catch me online so we can talk together. Sajid, my name is Sajid Hussain. I am from India. I want to study for the TOEFL speaking exam. There is a tremendous amount of free information on the internet for the TOEFL, the IELTS, the CAE, and any of those English speaking exams. But here's a little caveat for you. It is better, in my opinion, to speak with a live person that can give you immediate feedback about what you are saying, doing, and expecting as you prepare for the TOEFL exam. My name is Sufyan. I'm from India. My English is not well. I want to improve my English language speak. Well, I didn't grammar, but please. I'm not exactly sure if you say that you didn't study grammar or that you did. Here's my take on the grammar. 
if you listen to enough people speak, especially native English speakers, you will notice that we don't place that much emphasis on grammar. It comes automatically. And if you're thinking about how you were taught, you will say, something is wrong. The more important thing is to be understood. And if you're understood, the grammar is not that important. My personal opinion says that grammar is important if you're writing. All right, it looks like most of you are just letting me know that you are interested in English. Here's my tip for you today. Today, I would recommend that you find something to read, something as simple as going to News in Levels. I'll show you exactly where that is and how to prepare your speaking. Here you are. If you go to News in Levels, type that in your browser, and the first one that comes up today is Food in the Stratosphere, but there are tons of them, and they're like one minute in length in reading. Food in the Stratosphere, there's a group of people, they want to send a fake pastry into the stratosphere. They use a big balloon, the balloon is filled with gas, it takes the pastry up. It gets up to 29,000 feet, 8,839 meters. There is a camera on the balloon, too. It films an interesting video. After two hours up there, the balloon starts to go down. The people then find it. Difficult words, fake, not real, pastry, sweet food, stratosphere, part of the atmosphere. Now, if you listen, by pressing this button here, you will hear the same thing that I just read. After listening to it several times, try to mimic what you hear with the same rhythm. After you've done that and you understand what the article is about, stand in front of a mirror with a recorder, your cell phone will do, record your voice, summarizing what you have read. It should take about 30 seconds to do that, and it may sound something like this. This article is about the stratosphere and a pastry that some people sent up into the air. After the balloon came down, they found it, and they found something interesting on the camera. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Priscilla, the founder of Speak Excellent English. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.